Hi, Rick here from Marion for Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. In this video, I'm going to be covering the updating of the Inspire One's firmware. The way that you update the firmware has changed slightly recently, so the order of things is slightly different. So I'm going to be covering the uh, new way of updating your firmware. Okay, first of all, you want to open up the uh, DJI website, go to the Inspire product page, and then click on the download tab. There you'll find the Inspire firmware file here under Inspire One Firmware 1.2.0.17. What you want to do is uh, download the zip file. Now I've already downloaded it to save time, so we've got it down here. So what you need to do is open up the folder. And here you will have, as you can see, I've actually already downloaded it a few times, but what you want to do is actually extract all the files. I generally just extract them back to the download folder. And then what you want to do is once you've downloaded it, as we have here, you want to open that up. And then you will find inside is the uh, bin file here. That's the update file for the Inspire, the camera, the controller, and the batteries if required. There's also a PDF file there showing you how to actually uh, do the update, so that's worth a read. So what you want to do is take the SD card out of your Inspire's camera, put it into a USB adapter, and plug it into your PC. So in my case, it's down here in removable drive F. Then what you want to do is just simply drag that to that folder. Now that will drag it to the root folder. It's important you don't actually put the update file into another folder. It has to be in the actual root for this to work. Uh, once you've done that, just simply take the, USB, uh, take the SD card out, your USB adapter, and put it in your camera. Okay, now that you've got your SD card installed back into, the, back into the camera, all you have to do now is turn on the Inspire. Now make sure you have a, at least a half charged battery because the update can take quite a few minutes. Sometimes they reckon up to 25 minutes. So if the battery goes flat during your update, that would be very bad. So I generally always have a fully charged battery for this progress. I just let the camera calibrate itself. Now you'll now hear you've probably got more than the normal startup noise. You've got a, a constant beeping and that's it basically now in the uh, firmware update. Yeah, that goes deet, 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 deet. That's basically what you're looking for. In fact, if I put the microphone to there, you'll hear it a lot better. And that's what you're looking for. Now basically let that run. Now that can take quite a few minutes. Um, I think on this one actually, on this particular firmware, it only took me about six minutes, but they reckon up to 25 minutes to complete. So what you need to do is you need to let that run until the note changes again. You'll now notice that the tone has changed to basically a single beep, pause, and then two quick beeps. If I just move my microphone closer. That's the note that you're looking for, and that is now the firmware updated. So you can power down the Inspire. And now we'll move on to the controller. Now to do the controller, all you simply do is take the same SD card out of your camera. Now you can do one of two things. If you've got a micro adapter, that's actually better and quicker. But if you don't have a micro adapter, the bin file that you copied onto the cameras SD card, just copy it onto a USB memory stick. But I'm going to use a Lexar adapter, so you just simply plug that into there. And then on the USB sockets on the back, you just want to plug it into the USB adapter like that. And kind of the same as the Inspire, just turn on the controller. Now on the controller, it can take up to 60 seconds for the firmware to start. Right, that's it started to uh, update. You'll notice that the LED indicator here is actually turned blue. And if in case you can't hear it, that's indicating a firmware up start, uh, a firmware start. So if we just let that continue to beep um, until it's finished. When you get a final continuous beep and then silence, that is the firmware now updated and you will now notice on the uh, LED indicator, it is now turned to green. 
Once you've finished doing your firmware update, if you want to check if the model's on the latest firmware, if you just go into your DJI Pilot app and then click on the flight mode and it will actually tell you here, I don't know if you can see that, it's quite bright in here, it will actually say um, normal uh, latest firmware. But what you, you, you can also do is once you've finished, when you take the SD card uh, adapter out of your controller, just take, plug that into your PC and there'll be two text files on the SD card now, one for the model and one for the controller. If you open them up, there'll just be a little bit of text and it will say either failed if it's not updated correctly or it'll either say cancelled or success. So either cancelled or success will actually be a, um, a correct firmware update. I hope you found that video helpful in showing you how to update your firmware on your DJI Inspire. I'm Rick from Marinva Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. Check out my other videos, I've got a few on the Inspire and various other multi-rotors. You can subscribe to my uh, Facebook page at Marinva Models uh, and also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel which will also keep you abreast of any updates and uh, helpful how-to videos on DJI products. Cheers, thanks.